Hey guys, it is Jonathan here from the HousePro product marketing team. In today's three minute demo, we're gonna run you through quickly the new and improved schedule updates. So what you can see on screen here is we have a five week kitchen remodel build and it's quite high level, but it'll give you a good flavor of what you can achieve when you apply your own working um, systems to it. In the left hand rail, you'll see here that we have phases and broken into each phase is their items. When you click on the item, either in the left hand rail or on the canvas itself, it will give you the option to add additional information such as start dates, add team members to the item and create tasks. We'll run through more on that in a minute. From the blank state to create your first item, simply go to the project start date and click anywhere on the calendar. This will bring up your first item, which you can name whatever it is that you want. Once you're happy with the name, you can click drag and drop to determine how many days that item is going to take. You can continue adding items by clicking the calendar underneath the preceding item and setting the date for that item itself. By clicking the menu button in the top left, you will expand to see all of your items in the left hand rail. Here, you'll be given the option to group the items under phases. In this example, we've named the first phase preliminaries, and by hitting add phase, we can continue to add in demolition and the whole way down through the project, adding items as we go. By hovering over a phase, you'll be given the options to delete, rename, move to. This is handy if you have a bigger project over six months, say, and you click move to, it will take you directly to the phase or item. We can also create item dependencies. In this example, we can say that plumbing cannot start until the electrical rough-in is finished. By making these items dependent and linking them up, if there was a delay in the electrical rough-in, we can move that down the calendar, which would automatically move the plumbing item. This will allow all of the stakeholders to stay up to speed on what is happening on the job. By clicking an item on the calendar itself or in the left-hand rail, it will pop up the modal on the right-hand side. Here you will be able to make edits to start and finish date, assign team members or clients, change the colors and also add dependencies. Here's also where you can create tasks. The tasks is a great feature. You can assign it to team members or clients. You can set due dates, give some description and attach documents. When a task comes due, the assignee will be notified and when they complete it, it is marked as complete. This gives a level of transparency so that everybody knows where they're at with the schedule. You have the option to choose between Gantt, Calendar and List View. So you can choose whichever one best suits you. You can also build out your schedule this way, which will reflect across all three views. This has been a really quick tutorial on how to use the new and improved schedule feature. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. We would be happy to set up a screen share demo with you.